I am so excited today to be joined by Adam Demos, who stars in Sex Life season two, out right now on Netflix. I came to you six months ago with a ring. You said no. So I'm going to ask you five questions. For question number one, you'll give me one answer. Question number two, you'll give me two answers, and so on and so forth. Are you ready to get started? All right, let's do it. Sex Life is sizzling hot. It's such a good show. There's some steamy, sexy scenes in there. So who's the one person you wouldn't want to watch season two with? My mother. There's your answer. That's it. I just don't think that's the appropriate viewing for a mother and son to, uh, especially if the son's in it. And in the capacity that I am in it, it's, you know, we'll stick to more PG movies when we, when we hang out together. All right, Adam, let's get into some rapid fire questions about season two of Sex Life. In real life, are you team Brad or team Cooper? Oh, <laughs> that's not fair at all. I gotta know. I'm biased, but Brad, you know, he was really going through some stuff and he tried to make up for his past ways. I like when people can admit their wrongs and then work on it and try to improve and, you know, second chances. So maybe Brad. Connecticut or New York? I mean, New York, because I haven't been to Connecticut. So no offense to anyone out there, but I haven't been. I'm in Connecticut right now, but it's okay. New York is a good answer. Uh, I should have known that. Should you text your ex after a breakup or move on? No, no, no. You go your separate ways. Off you go. Is it better to be a planner or spontaneous when courting? It depends. I like being spontaneous though, you know, it's fun to cruise around and see what you're really feeling. But yeah, that's, that's a hard one because planning is, it, look at me, I'm just trying to answer both things, but it's like, <laughs> whatever, let's say spontaneous. Have you ever Googled fan reactions to the show? No, I've never Googled it, but I've seen them. I've seen them online and seen them on social media. And yeah, I mean, they're hilarious and awesome. <laughs> I love watching you act, but I actually read that you have a background in construction, which I find fascinating. What are two unexpected things that acting and construction have in common? For me, I was um, really instilled in a good work ethic. It's, uh, you know, you, you definitely never late because in construction, then you got to work through your lunch break, you got to do all the average jobs and stuff like that. But it's about just turning up and making sure you have a good, hard, honest day's work and appreciating the job that you get and then when that translates into acting it's like that's my favorite thing to do and now all of a sudden you call it a job how can you not give everything that you have so i think for me personally construction gave me a really good sense of work ethic and um and yeah just showing up and giving everything you got and this show you have this undeniable chemistry with billy who's played by sarah shahi and it makes sense because in real life you guys are actually a couple tell me three reasons why you love sarah well her heart that's first and foremost um her kindness then it's everything can the third thing be everything um um I'm her biggest fan for sure. So that'll be the third one is everything. I think she's exceptional in all aspects of life. And can we also talk about how stunningly gorgeous, beautiful she is too? Y yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, she's a goddess. It's ridiculous. Uh, but she could look the way she did, but if she didn't have what's going on in the soul, uh, but yeah, uh, luckily, it all works together. So yeah, I'm a lucky man for sure. This show is all about romance. What is the last romantic thing you did? Oh, we went on a cute little hike with the dogs yesterday. Is that romantic? Yeah. Anytime you can steal a moment and, and, and just connect, it doesn't really matter the setting. It's just about, you know, keeping in check and seeing how each other's going. Of course, you're from Australia. You really get a sense of the Australian pride that you have, and I love to see it. Give me four reasons why you love being an Australian. The culture, the people, I think, you know, it's the values that were instilled where I grew up in anyway, especially in Wollongong, you know, it's um, hard work and, and be good to your mates and your family and stuff like that. And then I'm proud to recommend places to go to people because it, it's such an incredibly beautiful place. I love the accent. Did you know that there's a whole TikTok dedicated to you saying the word nar? I didn't know such thing. No, I don't. Yeah, no. It makes sense because every time I've said it over here in the States, everyone's confused. It's like I was speaking another language for a while. It's, um, it, it does confuse people. And finally, give us five words to describe Sex Life Season 2. Thrilling, sexy, fun, heartbreaking, and epic. Adam, thank you so much for joining me. Everyone, be sure to check out Sex Life Season 2, out now on Netflix.